Hello and welcome back to The Note. We've had a day which at the end seems to have resolved many of the market's doubts about whether the Fed was really going to raise rates this Wednesday, but only after a lot of jitters in between. Now, you may recall Friday was a particularly ugly day, mainly due to events in the US high yield market and in the oil market. If we take a look at high yields, you can see here these are the uh, prices of the two largest best known uh, ETFs covering high yield in the US. And you can see that both of them continued to fall quite precipitously. But the critical point this time was that there appeared to be no contagion effect, as can often happen when there are problems in the credit market. At least for now, this has not transmitted to other markets. The main reason for that was if we take a look at oil, because uh, the oil price appears to have hit uh, something akin to a navigable bottom today. Both WTI and Brent dropped to fresh lows and then bounced quite impressively on what appears to have been short covering. People who had been betting on oil prices to fall deciding they were going to take money on that bet. Whether you want to be confident that this is a, a, a bottom that will last is another matter, but it certainly helps to change sentiment. Stock markets around most of the rest of the world were down. The S&P here in the US ended somewhat up for the day. The uh, implicit probability of a rate rise rose very slightly as well. The general belief that uh, the Fed really might be bullied out of raising seems to have dampened. Now, on the subject of whether markets really could bully the Fed, so let's take a look at what's happened since the uh, September meeting at which the Fed probably did, it's fair to say, uh, give in to market pressure when it decided not to raise rates then. If you take a look at this, which I've just put together from the uh, Bloomberg screen, you can see that metals prices, inflation break-even uh, expectations in the, uh, uh, for the US, emerging markets, foreign exchange, are all actually further down now than they were when the Fed felt obliged to pass three months ago. Even world stocks are now very slightly lower than they were three months ago, even if the S&P is slightly higher. It does look as though the Fed is going to go through with this. It's a very strange situation, however. The market is very plainly signaling that it isn't happy about that prospect.